شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تمتن ولا تمتن إلى وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا قديرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير حد حد محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم والشر العمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار وبعد يا أيها الناس أتى بريز الله سبحانه وتعالى and seeking his forgiveness and seeking refuge in Allah from the evilness and the consequences of our own actions. Whomsoever Allah guides, there is none that can guide. And whomsoever Allah sends astray, there is no guidance for this person. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah. He is alone without any partners. And I bear witness that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is his servant and his messenger. So proceeds, really the best speech is the Book of Allah and the best guidance. Is the guidance of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. Those newly introduced matters into this religion of Islam is an innovation, and every innovation is misguidance, and every misguidance leads to the fire. We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because none has the right to be worshipped except Him. We, ser we serve Allah azza wa jalla. We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So on this blessed day, ya ayyuhan nas, we want to mention in regards as we move forward with the goal in our minds of establishing of the, uh, or of establishing an, an Islamic community with the goal in mind as we move forward to establish a house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a community there can be no community without brotherhoods and cooperation there can be no brotherhood there can be no community Without cooperation, without brotherhood, and separation, it causes division and disunity. It causes separation of the hearts and disunity of the believers. So as a community, that is our foundation. It is based on the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As a community, it is based on the fear of Allah. The consciousness of Allah Azza wa Jalla and obedience to Allah Subhanahu a community who stays away from his prohibitions, a community who gives importance to akhlaq, a community who gives importance to adab, a community who gives importance to the adab, the character of the Muslim. So if we want to build an Islamic community, we must be upon that which Allah is pleased with. If we want to be an Islamic community, moving forward, ya ayyuhan nas, that we must be upon that which Allah is pleased with, that which he loves. And we must help and assist one another, and be allies of one another. Helping and assisting one another, ya ayyuhan nas, and coming to the aid of one another, and reminding each other, if we want to be a successful Islamic community. And also, my brothers in Islam, as the word al-bir, this word bir is a word that is of righteousness. Al-bir, righteousness, ya ayyuhan nas. Fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this word bir also is spending from the best of one's wealth to maintain an Islamic community. And likewise, by no means, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentions in the Quran, by no means you will not be able to attain al-bir, hatta tunfiku mimma tuhibbun. By no means you
riches, you will not be able to attain deal unless you spend of that which Allah loves. So if we want to be an Islamic community, we must spend upon that which Allah loves. We must do that which Allah loves and is pleased with. And stay away from that which Allah is displeased with. And likewise, to establish an Islamic community, loyalty is a must. That we must have towards each other of expressing kindness and compassion for each other. How many individuals you see that have no compassion, that have yani, no sympathy, no kindness towards the Muslim? But as a, com as a community, this, this needs to be addressed of showing compassion and love and having harmonious and joy amongst each other if we want to be a successful Islamic community. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran what's translated to mean as the believing men and the believing women are allies of one another. They enjoin that which is right and forbid that which is wrong and they establish the prayer and they give in charity and they obey Allah and his messenger. Allah will have mercy upon them for he is almighty and all wise. So as we move forward, establishing the Islamic community, the community that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with, that's built on love for the sake of Allah, as the Jalla, as it comes in the hadith of Anas ibn al-Nalik, reported the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam, he said, none of you will taste the sweetness of Iman until he loves a person only for the sake of Allah. As the Jalla, no one will taste the sweetness of Iman, halawatul Iman, until a person loves an individual, that he loves him for the sake of Allah. And this is within establishing an Islamic community. That you don't love a person because he have a nice car. That you don't love a person for any other reason except Allah so accept. Lillahi subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also, ya ayyuhal nas. And also as it comes in this hadith aydan. That the person will taste the sweetness of iman. And he loves a person only for his sake. And so he would rather be thrown into the hellfire. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his messenger is more dear to him than anything else. And likewise, if we want to be a, a, a successful Islamic community, we must look at towards, look at towards the structure and the community of the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam. If we want to be successful, we must look at how the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam structured his community and advised his companions. As he establishes community upon leaders from amongst his companions, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam investigated them carefully and appointed the best matches as brothers. For instance, Ya Ayyuhan Nas, there was an exact harmony between Salman al Farisi and Ibn al Ibn and Abu Darda. Salman al Farisi and Abu Darda. Amr and Hulaifa, Mus'ab and, Mus'ab and Abu Ayyub in terms of character, likes, and dealings, and feelings. And this is establishing a khuwa, brother within the Islamic community, sisterhood in the Islamic community, that everyone is involved within, this, within the Islamic community, that this is something that is most important moving forward of establishing the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Islamic community comprises our brothers and sisters, family members and the elders from amongst us who are wise in knowledge in terms of experience, in terms of life experiences. The older, the elders within our community who have life experience, who are elder, who are wise, that we consult them, that we respect them, as you find from individuals not respecting the elders. And this is from Islam, that, that we have respect for the, for the elders in our community, our, old, our elder men, our elder men and our elder women that we have respect for them and we consult them in terms of life experiences because they was here before us they have preceded us in knowledge and affairs of life experiences so it is a must that we consult them it is a must that we seek the advice of establishing a house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and likewise the assistance of establishing a community Consult them and ask them, how do I do this? How do I go about this? As we move forward within the upcoming months of establishing the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there can be no togetherness 
except that we have unity upon that which Allah is pleased with. The book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the sunnah of this messenger of Allah. So if that is the first and foremost thing that we run towards, what did Allah say in this verse? What did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say? What did the messenger of Allah alayhi salatu wa salam say? And how did the companions understand this? This is how we move forward within the community of returning back to those illustrious people who have knowledge of the deen, have knowledge of and of serving and establishing the community. There can be no harmony, no togetherness, except that we recognize this fact that we return to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the son of his messenger alayhi salatu wa salam with the understanding of the sahaba how they understood it, how they established a community of Abu Darda and, and, and Salman al Farisi and other companions linked up and established the, of the, uh, establishing a community. This companion linked up with this companion, the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam, and also this shows you that the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam consulted his companions. He consulted with them. He sat with them. So much so when people used to come and, and, and see the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam, they didn't recognize who he was. They didn't recognize who he was because he was sitting amongst his companions. He was sitting amongst them. He consulted them. He took the advice. So this is our situation. This is our stance of establishing of, of establishing an Islamic community. And likewise, of establishing an Islamic community, which should be important is sincerity. Sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sincerity for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is how we establish a community as well. Of being sincere. Doing it for Allah. Not doing things to be seen. Not giving something to be seen. Not giving some type of charity to be known in the community as I was the one that gave him $100. I was the one that paid the light bill. I was the one, I was the one. La ya that we do things sincerely for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So much so when you give that your right hand doesn't know. Sincerity for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Seeking a reward from him in all of our affairs. As Abu Aliyah, rahimahullah ta'ala, or radiallahu anhu, the companion Muhammad, the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said to me, do not do a good deed for anyone besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For Allah will leave you in charge of that deed that you have done. For the one you have done it for. So it shows you the sincerity. And this is one of the conditions of la ilaha illallah. That the person must be sincere. And if the person is not sincere, then it is no value. Haba'an manthura. Then it is dust particles. If the person is not sincere, then he has done his deeds for other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Call Allah, call us on Allah, alayhi wa sallam. He said, In Allah, la yakbalu min anal illa ma kana lahu khalisan. The Prophet, alayhi salatu wa salam. He said, Verily, Allah does not accept any good deed unless they are done sincerely. And this is in Surah al Nasa'i. And likewise, if we want to establish a strong community, we must be organized. Those who know how to manage and organize must be given importance. Brothers, move up, inshallah. Brothers, be the Nilahi Ta'ala. We ask that you move forward. For those who are coming in, make space for Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. We're, we're bright in your face. Make space, move up, inshallah. Get next to your brother. Stand close to your brother. As the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam, he said, the Muslim, Kalburyan. And Muslim, Akul Muslim. 
The Muslim is a brother of another Muslim. This is also how we establish a community. This is how we establish a community of being brothers to one another and not being hard-hearted towards each other, being kind and gentle. It starts off with gentleness, with love and compassion. If we want to establish an Islamic community, call us sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Inna allaha la yaqbalu min amiril illa ma kana lahu qalisan. That it has to be for Allah. That the deed that you do, it has to be for the sake of Allah. It can't be, oh, what you going to give me? What I'm going to get out of it? What I'm going to get in return? What you going to get in return? is ajr alim. What you going to get in return? Seek in the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What you going to get in return? It's jannah, bliss, naeem, forever enjoyment. That's what you're going to get in return. Of establishing the Islamic community is important. All of us should be concerned. Not just one, two people, or three people, but it's all of us has to be involved. This place right here, be it the to either, coming soon, all of us have to be involved. Not just one, two, three, four people. No, us collectively as a, as a community. If we want the love of Allah, the nasr of Allah, the help of Allah, we have to come together. We can't be separated. Look at the Yahud and the Nasara. They are united together. Upon Kufr, upon Bidah, they are united together. Even though they are differing, even though they are splitting, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam reminded us that this nation was split into many different groups, 72 groups, 73, 73 sects. And my nation was split into 73 sects. As it comes in the hadith of Hudayfa ibn Yaman, he said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, they, they used to ask you about the goods, the companions. They used to ask you about the goods. But I ask you about the bad, the evil, for fear of falling into it. Fear of falling into that which is haram. Fear of going close to that which is haram. If we want to be an Islamic community, there can be no kiyana, no deception, no thievery, no corruption. If we want to be an Islamic community, it has to be truthfulness. Truthfulness, sidq. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it has to be truthfulness if we want to be an Islamic community. It shouldn't be, oh, the money went there, this went there. No, it has to be truthfulness. Truthfulness as an Islamic community and truthfulness upon you, Ya Abdullah, as a servant of Allah. You're going to be questioned about your sincerity. Did you do this for the sake of Allah? Or did you do it to get reputation, to be known, to be seen? I did this. I am this. I'm the man. Come see me. Me, me, me. No, us collectively. As an Islamic community, as we gather, Yom Jumu'ah, as we gather it now, we want to see you all, inshallah ta'ala, in this place. We want to see you all in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with contributing, contributing to the masjids, with helping and assisting. Don't wait. For a brother to say, oh, the masjid need this. Don't wait to say, to, for a brother to say, or the imam, or someone to say, please, someone can do that. No, you take the initiative. You take the initiative and give it for the sake of Allah. And spend it for the sake of Allah. That the house of Allah is maintained by the Muslim. It's not maintained by other than them. It's not maintained by the Yahud. No, it's not maintained by the Nasara or other than them. It's maintained by us. It's maintained by us. So moving forward, inshallah ta'ala, as we move forward, as we are coming close, we want to see you all, inshallah ta'ala. Bi'adhanillahi ta'ala, may Allah give you life and strength and the ability. Bi'adhanillahi ta'ala. Allahumma anta nasi taqwaha wa zakiha anta khayru min zakaha anta waliyuha wa maulaha rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana وقيم عذاب النار وأقول قولي هذا أستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم وسبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك وقيم الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أيها الصلاة حافلة والقامة الصلاة 